The Pentagon on Tuesday acknowledged the first two National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile Systems NASAMS, had been delivered to Ukraine and were operational. The system will contribute to Ukraine's air defense capabilities and will assist safeguard the Ukrainian people from air assaults, especially those by unmanned aerial vehicles or cruise missiles. Air Force Brigadier General Pat Ryder, Pentagon Press Secretary, told reporters at the briefing. Oleksiy Reznikov, Ukraine's defense minister, originally claimed on Monday that NASAMS had arrived along with the Aspide air defense system from Spain. Look who's arrived! NASAMS and Aspide air defense systems arrive in Ukraine. These weapons will substantially reinforce and will make our skies safer. We will continue to fire down hostile targets that strike us. Thanks to our partners, Norway, Spain and the US, Reznikov stated in a social media post. The NASAMS air defense system was co-developed by Raytheon Technologies RTX and Norway's Kongsberg and integrates Raytheon's Sentinel radar and advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles AMRAM, with Kongsberg's Fire Distribution Center. The two NASAMS were included as part of a $820 million security aid package that the U.S. agreed to in early July, with the systems to be acquired through Ukraine's Security Assistance Initiative USAI, Money, Defense Daily, July 1, Defense Daily, July 1. In late August, Raytheon was granted a $182.3 million contract to deliver two NASAMS systems for Ukraine, Defense Daily, August 29, Defense Daily, August 29. Raytheon Missiles and Defense and our partners are working diligently to rapidly deliver this sound, proven air defense capability to help people defend their homeland, said Tom Liberty. President of Raytheon Missile and Defense's Air Defense and Ground Warfare Business, in a statement. Statement, statement at the time. Ukraine will join a dozen countries across the world that rely on NASAMS to neutralize several threats, including cruise missiles, planes, and unmanned systems. Riders said the AM-8AM missiles for NASAMS were given from a variety of sources, including U.S. stocks and from multiple friends and partners but he declined to disclose specifics on how Ukraine may deploy the system and the range of weapons can reach the battlefield. I don't want to delve into those details for concerns of operational safety. I would argue, though, that it provides a major air defense capacity in the sense that it can guard against, as I've stated, UAV strikes both armed and unarmed. It can protect against helicopters, cruise missiles as well as manned aircraft, added Ryder. Any air defense system is going to be difficult by nature because you integrate a lot of different features, including the capacity to detect, the ability to respond. And it's an area that we will continue to work on and advise with Ukraine on how best to integrate them as they convert utilizing some Soviet-era, Soviet-type construction equipment, as you pointed out, with Western current NATO systems. If you say, yeah, we can give you a Patriot, I will travel to the US personally to grab it. This is really crucial to our people. Zelensky remarked via English translation at the Yale School of Management session, We must safeguard our sky. If my memory serves me well, I've been repeating it from the first day of the conflict. Aviation and air defense, this is what we lack. We need to preserve our skies to safeguard our children. The $3 billion weaponry aid package agreed by the U.S. on August 24 includes intentions to acquire six additional NASAMS for Ukraine using USAI funding.